So this disaster here is my test bench for the stepper driver arrangement I'm going to use. So over here we have a uh, cheap imitation of a Node MCU, which is just a ESP8266 uh, USB interface chip, some breakout, some protection, blah blah. blah. You know they're quite cheap. And buried down in there you see some Palolu A4983 stepper drivers. So those little boards, there's one that's sort of sitting upright there, and there's one flat back there. Uh, where is one? Here's one I destroyed earlier. Um, so these have inputs for step and direction, and power, and some various settings, and then um, the 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B pins connect to the stepper motor. So stepper motors are quite tricky to drive, and these things just do all the hard work for you. Um, and all you have to do is say step in a direction. So, and each step is one point on these particular steppers is 1.8 degrees. There are 200 steps per revolution. And yeah, all you have to do is set the pin to what the direction you want, and then pulse it in a square wave, and the stepper goes. Um, so right now it's running through some um, test code I wrote. Um, so let's hook up the motor power. And so it just drives one motor one way, the other way, and they both drive together. And um, it does the thing. And I'll just run through that pattern further. Um, it's fun if I pull the power off. Bam! It just sort of flops down like I cut its throat. Um, so this is, oh, that was unnecessarily grim, um, so this is um, useful for doing some basic testing stuff. Um, the Palolus are super unreliable and easy to blow up if you're not super duper careful with them, like if you um, power them up or rearrange the settings while they're running, you can cause a great deal of problems for yourself. Um, so I've got some DRV8825 based ones that are just drop-in replacements, so they have the same pin out. Um, there are some mechanical things I need to get sorted out. You can see there that that belt is starting to slip off the end, so I'm going to need to print that one with a bigger lip, so it can have a better chance at retaining the belt. And I think it's walking itself off the, the, the pulley because this arm is bending slightly, and um, it works its way off. So that'll will be something I need to work on um, and also I need oh, I haven't got the rear bearing holder on here yet and so this slips out slightly and all the belts get a bit skewed with which is not ideal um, so let's put the power back on away they go jolly good so I'm using um, micro stepping to make them a bit quieter oh no my awesome hand stand in fell off. Um, so micro stepping lets you now on this particular hardware get um, 16 times higher resolution than 200 steps per revolution so you get 1.8 degrees divided by 16 uh, in terms of um, degrees accuracy. Um, you may be able to hear those moving um, there's a, a large component of that is that the vibration transmitted through my desk. My desk is acting like a big speaker diaphragm. Um, and if uh, that's largely due to how I'm stepping them. Um, if I... Oh, no, the belt came off. Um, if I were to take the power off the motor and then change this wire here from 5 volts to ground and then hook the power back up again... Whee! So I just disabled um, micro-stepping. So now it's doing full steps. And it goes much, much faster and is much noisier. That's exciting. Flop. <laughs> okay, that's basically it. That's what I'm up to with this business. Um, right now I'm using MicroPython to hash things out. Um, I may have to switch to um, native C code running on that thing if I start hitting performance problems but 
I don't think I will. Um, um, this is pretty crude. I'm timing my steps with just sleep milliseconds. Um, so I can get a hell of a lot more finesse that way. So I should be good. Um, and I'm hoping the DRV 8825s, um, they, they let me go down to 32 micro-stepping. Um, so if I've got the speed, if I can if I can generate that square wave fast enough, then I should be able to get even quieter performance and even more precision. I don't really need precision um, that much. Um, like I'm not doing super duper accurate absolute positioning, um, but you know, it's nice. Okay, bye bye.